Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesdays, or should we say Wednesdays, uh, end of day trading session, the 23rd of November 2016. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the uh, the bonus. Alternatively, please do visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, the uh, the end of day numbers, let's just uh, let's just certainly go over them in terms of uh, market close. Let's bring them up for you now. Okay, okay, so. In terms of the FTSE, certainly uh, a very volatile day on the FTSE, certainly uh, basically whipsaw today, certainly whipsaw on the FTSE 100 myself today on the upside and the downside, okay, certainly unable to read the actual market given the uh, given the uncertainty regarding this potential uh, budget, okay, and potential stimulus program, so we'll certainly go through the uh, narrative for the day. Uh, as you can see here, the uh, Asian Chinese market certainly weaker overnight, Hang Seng, uh, Shanghai, and obviously you can see the Nikkei there, more or less flat on the day. You have the uh, FTSE 100 closing negative for the day, the DAX closing negative, the French CAC closing negative. So certainly under uh, exerted pressure. Now, the Dow at the moment is the only one in the green, and the rest certainly are suffering still. Okay, in terms of US markets, the, uh, the NASDAQ certainly under pressure today. And we also have the S&P under pressure as well. Okay, now let's see exactly where this market is headed. Let's try and break this down and uh, explain to you exactly the fundamental picture and the backdrop. And then we'll certainly work it out from there. Now, in terms of fundamentals, you had the Asian markets more or less flat to stroke negative overnight. You had the business sentiment indicator out the uh, out of China, certainly coming stronger than expected. You had uh, economic data out in the morning from France, PMI, uh, services, composite, Basically, more or less all uh, slightly better than expected. Okay, so for France, Germany, in terms of their German PMI, you had German PMI more or less in line. Okay, although uh, two of those uh, data certainly slightly missed the mark, more or less in line. And then you had European PMI and services and composite all coming out better than expected. So overall, net net positive for European indices, but they still certainly succumb to pressure now. The pressure certainly was exerted due to the fact that we have the Italian and uh, obviously the French uh, political uncertainty in the background so again they were certainly hurt due to that okay now we also had the uh, uncertainty with regards to oil prices moving lower as well uh, certainly moving lower overnight given the fact that the iranians and the iraqis are certainly bickering again in terms of uh, a potential uh, output cut so <clears throat> that certainly threw the whole opec deal out of uh, into disarray and certainly had the exerted exerted the bearish pressure now not only that, we also have the NASDAQ and the S&P certainly into resistance as well, so therefore indicating risk aversion, okay, certainly coming under 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 pressure, okay, so certainly looking for a potential move lower. And that's exactly what we observed in the morning. Now, that wasn't observed very easily. It was mainly due to the, uh, the actual FTSE 100 itself. Now, let me just bring up the FTSE. Now, the FTSE itself had the announcement or budget announcement. Everybody was certainly buying the FTSE in the morning on the back of a potential budget announcement being bullish, etc. Uh, it's more stimulus than expected, so on and so forth. And that didn't transpire. Okay, we had a pivot high at uh, 6880. I was unfortunately stopped out there. Okay, and then I actually subsequently shifted my bias to a long on the back of obviously everybody short squeezing or the market short squeezing on the back of additional stimulus. That didn't transpire either, unfortunately, and the market started to f fall. Now, the reason why the market fell is because growth forecasts were lowered. Not only were the growth for forecasts lowered, you also had the um, the actual uh, stimulus coming in l l below market expectations. And because the stimulus came in below market expectations, you, s you had an immediate sell. Certainly the market went into a swoon, certainly started to sell off, okay, and obviously with all weaker oil prices as well. The US dollar certainly rallying stronger than expected with the US economic data coming in stronger than expected, therefore raising uh, rate hike concerns as well. If I go back to my economic data for the day, you have durable good orders coming in stronger than expected. The additional jobless claims and continuing claims slightly came in on the weaker side, okay. House prices certainly came in on the stronger side. Market PMI came in on the stronger side. New home sales came in on the weaker side. Okay, and crude stocks, or crude oil stocks certainly came in 
on the bullish side as well, given the fact that we had a potential drawdown. So that's all, all, all those factors together certainly triggered a potential reversal. As you can see here, initially a strong dollar was certainly hurting the markets. As soon as we had the oil inventory data come out, you certainly got one hell of a short squeeze. So impressive, very, very impressive. Also, you can see that in the German DAX as well. If you look at the German DAX, I mean, it was a 100 point squeeze from uh, 600 to almost 700. So a 100 point squeeze, which which was very, very impressive. Very, very impressive, to say, to say the least. OK, so again, German DAX certainly holding that support at 10, 600, bouncing quite powerfully. OK, certainly moving higher with the, with a vengeance. OK, we broke the pivot S3 support level as well. So we certainly remain vulnerable here. OK, not only that, we had the Nasdaq into resistance. We certainly had uh, the tech sector under pressure. Eli Lilly as well, <clears throat> certainly the pharmaceutical and health health care sector certainly came under pressure. OK, so that seems to be the narrative at present. So uh, we've concluded the FTSE 100 certainly is bearish on the basis that the budget face failed to uh, deliver more stimulus than expected. But we have oil prices being held by the Iraqi news. Iraq is back on board now. OK, and that's certainly helping risk and that's certainly pushed the oil price higher and obviously the FTSE 100 as well. OK, so let's see exactly where we stand now, now that the uh, the actual market is closed. Daily chart of the German DAX certainly remains very still, certainly vulnerable to a move lower. 60 minute chart, German DAX, we've certainly held and bounced off that 10, 600 level. So that certainly is, we're certainly oscillating to the side, consolidating uh, sideways. Again, it'll be interesting to see which way we break out. OK, 10 minute chart, the German DAX at the moment, we've bounced off 10, 600. Still making lower lows, lower highs, although we are making a base at 10,600, so we shall see. Okay, so in terms of the German DAX, you have resistance uh, here, which is at uh, 10,690. So again, that's your resistance zone for now in terms of the German DAX, and we'll see exactly how that plays out. Okay, so we certainly seem to be uh, vulnerable to a potential flush. So again, given the Italian and political uncertainty, certainly bear that in mind. Okay, let's move on to the FTSE 100 now, folks. FTSE 100. Okay, daily chart of the FTSE 100. You have a doji candle that came in. Okay, so you can certainly see it was a volatile day on the upside and the downside. So knocked out the stops above, knocked out the stops below. So again, interesting. Okay, interesting to say the least. 60 minute chart, FTSE 100. Again, diagonal trend line certainly is held. So support below is at 6770. So 6780, sorry, watch out for support below. 10 minute chart, and the FTSE certainly held resistance at 6835. Certainly flushed lower. So again, watch out for 6835 resistance if we move higher again. We still have the unfilled gap left below, which is currently seen at um, 6,770. So again, watch out for that potential gap at 6,770, folks. OK, so again, that certainly is going to be important. It's going to be interesting to see how the market reacts when you get there. OK, in terms of the next potential move. OK, uh, on that note then, so uh, FTSE itself, from my perspective, is vulnerable. Uh, the budget concerns, a lack of stimulus, a lack of additional stimulus certainly will be hurting the FTSE going forward. Uh, and again, the market does uh, uh, focus on the S&P 500 as well. So it be interesting to see how the S&P 500 fares too. OK, the French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you. French CAC at the moment on the daily chart still remains vulnerable, although we did. We have closed the gap below, which I was expecting yesterday. If we waited a very long time for it, it didn't materialize. OK, so for now, you certainly have a bullish engulfing on the 60 minute chart. Your real test now will be on the way on the downside will be 4510 if that fails and you are looking at 4480. So watch out for 4480 below 4510, 4480. Watch out for those two levels. OK, in terms of the euro stocks, let's just go over the euro stocks last but not least. Again, trading sideways in the 60 minute chart. So you did bounce off key support below daily chart still remains bearish and the 10 minute chart again. Watch out for the double bottom low which is at 3015. We did thrust higher up to 3040, which was impressive. And again, it will be the test of 3015. If that fails, then we are going lower. So again, Italian and political, Italian and uh, French political uncertainty certainly does weigh on this market. OK, folks, certainly does weigh quite heavily. OK, on that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.